Now that I've shown you how to create a simple table, in the next session I'm going to cover topics like amending a table and filtering your data. First of all, this was the first table that we created. To create a new table, we click the tabulation button and this gives us tabulation 2. Note that you can flick back and forth between the various tables that you may have open. In this new table, I'm going to create a table where we're looking at the percentage of people who agree they need a mobile phone for their personal security. For this, we're going to the mobile phone class and the attitudes all agree statements. Personal security is the third one in the list and we'll put that into the rows. Again, we're not having anything in columns. We'll go to settings, show numbers and make sure that all of these display options are ticked. Then we run the table. So here we have the table where everybody has been asked the question. So we have the 16.6 .6 million people. And we have a vertical percent telling us that 22.2% of the population agree with the statement, I need a mobile phone for my personal security. That's one way of looking at that data. An alternative may be to filter this table to only those people who own a mobile phone. You may remember from the previous table that we found almost 36% of the population own a mobile phone. So to do the filter, we go back to selection, look for mobile phone ownership, and pick the group that say, yes, I own a mobile phone. And we're going to put this within the filter area. It immediately comes up with the yes, and we have a mobile phone ownership yes definition. I'll run the table, and you can see that the V percent has changed. We can now read that as 60.5% of those people who say, yes, I own a mobile phone, agree that they need that for their personal security. One thing to note here is that the filter just says yes. That's going to be meaningless if this is printed out and given to somebody, or if you refer back to it in a few months' time. Therefore, we go back to selection, and in the filter description, you can click in the box and give it a more meaningful name. Note that you should not change the definition because that is a database data name. We're now going to run the table. And you can see that our new filter description appears at the top of the table. The next table I'm going to create is based on this existing table. Back to selection, rather than make changes to this table, what I want to do is take a copy of it. You go to the task toolbar and choose clone task. You can see we have tabulation two and three, which are identical. We're going to remove the personal security statement and replace it with coordinating social life. So I'll double click that to get rid of it. We want attitudes all agree. And the attitude we're looking for is, I need a mobile phone to help me coordinate my social life. So I'll put that into rows. This time I'm going to add some column items and we want to base the table on age groups. From age summary, we want to pick most of these age groups, but we don't want the totals. Use your control key while you're clicking the ages to pick the exact ones that you want. That adds that into column. And again, run table. So with this table, we can answer a few questions. For example, what is the age group which has the highest percentage of agreeing with the statement? If we're looking at age groups first, then V% percent is the data that you need to read. And the highest V% percent is under the 18 to 24 column. So we can read that 65.6% .6 of 18 to 24 year olds agree with this attitude statement. A second question may be, of those who agree with the statement, what percentage of them are aged 35 to 49? Because we're referring to the statement first, we want H%. Percent. Under the 35 to 49 year old column, we have 20%. So 20% of those who agree with the social life statement are aged 35 to 49. Now let's have a look at some of the index values. So who are more than twice as likely to agree with this attitude? We're looking for an index value of over 100. The 18 to 24 year olds and 14 to 17 year olds are more than twice as likely to agree with this attitude statement.